Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 85 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Alright, Katorito has something to say to us. Oh ho. So, after some violent battling, there are a number of dragon dragon kin that ended up coming to the castle to see Katorito. This one in particular has wounds all over the place. But his eyes tell us that he can still fight. So he asks our princess here if she would please to direct him. As his faction expected, she certainly is fit to be leading the dragon tribes. And it's been proven in our latest battle. <laughs> he says that even if his body is not perfect, he can be a shield for Katorito. She says that although she says that she cannot choose make this decision on her own since she isn't the representative of the tribes. So he needs to raise his head. Furthermore, setting her life aside for her sake is Ah well she has a unpleasant memory in that regard, doesn't she? In order to protect her, her several of the dragon tribe that were still loyal to her had to die in order to get her out of the country. country? Well, he says it is his desire if he can if there is any way that he can protect her. Ah, the chains of leadership. So she looks around and spots two soldiers coming towards her. Oh, I read that wrong. She, she spots two people who command soldiers coming towards her. So, what happened, Katarito? So, they received a report from the residents that there were dragon tribes that had gotten into the castle. But, it seems like their manner is a bit different from the others. Okay, so, these dragon tribes have decided to come in order to be our allies. So she explains the whole thing. Mm. Rishu and Sally thinks there shouldn't be any particular problem. Right. Since they want to help out Katorito, we have no reason to reject them. Yes, but is it all right? At the moment, everybody is rather scared of dragons. Well, if he is an agent from Kalmyug, that would be a problem. But that isn't the case, is it? So, 
This guy swears that he will never betray the princess. Kisner assesses that his eyes are filled with loyalty, so it'll be all right. Kisner will tell Avaro. All right, she understands. So, it seems that in the upcoming battle with the dragons, Katarito plans on throwing herself into the fray. He is going to help from the shadows as best he can. So this battle should be over eventually, and after that, these dragon tribes should probably be able to live with us in the castle, like normal-like. That'd be nice. Well, he's grateful there for their acceptance. So, Princess, it seems that not all of the dragons have fallen in under Kalmerg. So even after the battles, the ones that wouldn't fall in with Kalmerg have taken up to hiding in various places in the Cloud Sea. And they've also started their own little resistance movement. So when the final battle comes, they'll certainly come and help out. So his duty to relay this to the princess was also among the reasons he came here. He asks her to let them show their pride as dragons as well. Okay, very well then. That was nice, she sounds serious. Alright, lend her your power. She will follow in her father's footsteps. Ah yes, even if it costs him his life. So, with the words of this new servant of hers, Katarito's gotten a little bit used to being a leader. So, she's been trained to take leadership from a young age. And now she's really starting to get the hang of it, it seems. Well, a bloodline is that strong of a connection after all. In order to lead an organization like this, you're basically brought up from a very young age to do so. But, although these two recognize her growth as the leader of the dragons, they do have a worry. But, they're kind of hard to tell the individuals apart 
If there are too many of them on the battlefield, well, we could accidentally attack the wrong side. So, yes. In order to try and keep from getting a bad attack like that, Ed, they should probably plan the division of the troops more carefully. So, those two get to worry about that, I guess. Alright, let's begin. She's looking forward to it. So again, make sure Anna wants to make friends with people. So this time we're going to talk about how she'll do it. Well, Avor would like her to start out right away, but it might be a bit difficult to just tell her to start throwing her voice out of people. Yes, she thinks it will be difficult as she is now. In any case, even if she does start something, what should she talk about? Now that you ask Avaro directly, he's never really thought too deeply about what he's going to talk about. Just going along with how he feels at the moment, and what he thinks of, he just spits out. So is that sort of thing even possible? Quite an expression she gives off for that. It's surprising to her that people can talk like that. She is pretty bad at conversations, isn't she? Ah, but even if we're going to say she's trying something, she doesn't want to go without a plan. So when, when it comes down to it, she would like to have some contents for her conversation ready. And if possible, from the very beginning, they want to start, she wants to start with an image in her head. So basically, she wants the conversation from beginning to end prepared up beforehand. I've always kind of thinking that once you start a conversation, it can't really go the direction you intended. Uh, well, setting aside for the moment the content, and anyway, it will depend somewhat on whom you're having a conversation with. Well, for instance, if you choose an appropriate topic for whomever you're talking with, the conversation will go better. So, we're going to limit her partners in this. Again, the partner word. It would be the second party. The person she's going to talk to. Anyway, she wants, if possible, to prepare something that can work on anyone. I see. That's a pretty impressive goal. Avaro thinks he's going to have his work cut out for him. Alright, anyway, let's talk about the specific topic a little later. Before that, let's start on the level before... Let's think about the level before. The level before... Uh, 
If you're going to go talk to somebody, you need to think about how you're going to conduct yourself. For example, your expression. If you talk with someone who can easily be, easily show pleasure in a conversation versus talking with somebody who is irritated or bothered by a conversation, the way the conversation flows will change. Alright. She understands his logic. So, let's think about what Mikshuana needs and what kind of things she needs to add to her repertoire in order to make these conversations go. So what she needs and what she needs to add to what she has. So she takes a little time and arrives at an answer. It's charisma. You could say charm. It's variously translated. Well, it's a very calm decision, anyway. As expected of Mikshuana. So, if while well, the conversation is going well, the person to whom she's talking isn't having fun, then they'll become uneasy. Well, maybe Mikshuana will become uneasy as well. So, if Mikshuana had more charisma, then people talking with her will want to talk with her more. And they'll enjoy it more. She's thinking. Uh, yeah. If the person to whom you're talking is having fun, then you can say that's a victory as far as conversations go. After all, they'll want to talk with you more. So, let's think about how we can increase your charisma. Well, no. There's no need to think about that. Oh, you've thought of something? Yes, coming to think about this and turn it around a bit, she's arrived at a conclusion. So, to think about how you have charisma and how you can make a conversation pleasurable, the answer is smile. Well, she does have a nice smile now that you had mentioned it. But is she talking about hers or the other person's. Ah, it seems she's talking about the other person. If she can get other people to smile, then that means that they're having fun. Or at least enjoying it. So what she needs is a way to make people laugh. Avaro thinks that's good. Well, at the very least not correct. Well, thanks. She had confidence in this plan. So, should we get started right away? 
何か手本となる文献を探してきたいところですが。Well, actually, she thinks that would be difficult. She would like to set up a small book with some information beforehand. Okay, then. You can check the open shops out in the marketplace. Lately, they've been carrying a lot of various stuffs. So, she thanks him for the information. And with this, she's going to take some time to improve herself. And then she's sure she'll get some results. All right, Avaro will sit, let her go for a while, and see what she comes up with. Well, she says she wants to study, so the two separate and go their ways. Avaro thinks that this put him at ease. She certain she certainly had the will to do it. So he was thinking that it would definitely be all right. Oh, come on, you're going to leave us with that. Yeah, they're going to leave us with that. Uh, yes, I did have something to make. Now I could make this, which takes away the possibility of those two. Or I could make these two, taking away the possibility of that. So let's just go with more. Yes. Oh. Okay, all's well here. Yes. This is the item that we used to undo the curse, unequip the cursed items that I put on Kisnir a few parts ago. It will require a seven color mushroom. I know I've seen those available in a in some map somewhere. It didn't drop any of the time I went there, but if we need more of those, well, we can find it. I'm pretty sure it was recently. Here? No. Oh, here. This is the place where we fought Gaidal. It's a three-star drop, and yeah, I didn't get any. I wonder why. Or maybe I used it on something else. In any case, everything seems to be ready for me to go to this trial ground or whatever it is for Oh man, just left me. Oh yes. Some kind of trials that Katorito will need to pass in order to become the leader of the dragons. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.